All right, so here's the window bench seats without the cushions that we're working to make. Looks pretty bare. The one at the back of the room is just white, so we need to get something there, make it a little more comfortable to sit. Creating window bench seats consists of a piece of plywood for the base, four inches of high density foam, some batting, and then the material that we use to cover it all. Here you can see the piece of plywood I've already cut out. It's the width of the bench seat, but not the depth. I've kept it in a few inches. That way the front of your cushion looks more natural without having the hard line of a piece of plywood showing through the fabric. The foam was purchased at a foam store and they cut it to the correct size for us. The batting we cut large enough so they could wrap the foam and then be able to be stapled to the plywood. The cloth was cut so that it could wrap around the foam plywood and cover the batting as well. So first we start by stapling on the batting on each side. Just make sure it's snug, don't pull it too tight. So we also want to make sure that the staples are in nice and snug. My stapler isn't powerful enough to push them in that tight. So here we are hammering them in. So you want to make sure the batting is tight enough uh, when wrapping it back around on the other side. Just don't pull it too tight or else you'll get stretch marks. Leave about four inches of the batting unstapled. So for the ends, do basically the same thing, keeping the staples about four inches away from the end. For the corners, you want a, a straight line up from your bottom corner. And it's not necessarily this point because this piece is longer than that piece. So start down there. Kind of get a 45 here's your point pull that about 45 in make sure you're going past that corner there pop a staple in hammer it down then in between here this staple and this staple same thing again and depending how your benches are but this is our front so we really want this side to be nice so we'll concentrate on that first and pop a staple in Between those two, and then one more between the first and the middle again. Then you can cut off the excess. Do the same thing for the other half of the corner. Rinse and repeat for the other side of the bench seat. You can see on the first cushion that the fabric wasn't quite long enough to cover the felt. So learn from my mistake. It still worked out in the end, but it's better to have enough fabric just to cover the felt. So for the fabric, we ended up folding the edge of the fabric once and then stapling and hammering similar to the felt. Next, we cut off the extra fabric along the length of the cushion.
Before stapling the other side, we pulled the fabric tight along the length of the cushion to avoid wrinkles. To do the corners of the fabric, you start by pulling material straight out, as if you're going to continue off. Cut about one inch past the end of the cushion, stopping when you're about perpendicular with the other end of the cushion. Do this for both pieces of fabric, or both sides of the cushion. Now pull the remaining fabric straight out from the corner of the cushion and then you can basically cut a kind of a horizontal line straight across and then you've got rid of all the excess fabric. Put in a few more staples along one side of the fabric. So grab the remaining fabric from that same side and kind of pull it around the corner and put a few staples in. To hold that. Also make sure you start on the side that you want to hide or that won't be seen as much. So say if it's for a bent seat where the ends won't be seen, that's the side you want to start on first. So last piece, tuck in here and fold. Gotta get that top fold there, this fold under here. Ah, I don't like that. I gotta somehow pull this over more. Let's try this. Now you basically work on folding the end piece over so it looks nice. It's a bit of a trial and error process. And then finish with stapling it in. And here you have the finished corner. All right, here's the finished product. You can see there's some lines along the front that probably could have been avoided by stretching it the long ways a little more. So this is about after four months of solid use. You can see you do get a little wrinkles kind of there. Stretching the fabric the long ways before stapling would have helped, but it, I think it looks fine. And then here's the other bench. 